Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, we're going to learn how to sear scallops. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going to learn how to sear scallops. Let's get started. Scallops are just such a delicious food, but many people don't know how to cook them or they overcook them and ruin them. So I'm gonna show you a really foolproof way to cook them. It's simple, it's fast, and it'll be delicious. Let's talk about scallops. I have here, some sea scallops. This is about a pound, 450 grams. Sea scallops, bay scallops, what's the difference? The sea scallops are much larger, like these beauties here. Bay scallops are really small, like a little mini marshmallow. Maybe not that small, but you get the idea. If you think about it, the sea is large, a bay is small, and they grow where they're living. Now these are also dry scallops, not wet. And the difference is, Wet scallops are usually bright white, they are sitting in liquid, and they're usually injected with some sort of stabilizer. Nothing harmful, but they're just wet and a little soggy. Dry scallops are not processed that way. And they're usually a little, they have a little hint of color to them. Now these scallops, I took out of the fridge, put them in some paper towels, and let them sit here for about 15 minutes to come up to room temperature. And the reason I did that is I just wanted to make sure that I got every last little bit of excess moisture out of them. It's very, very important to have them dry to get a good sear. What else you can also do? Just give them one last little pat. But these are pretty dry. I'm going to get my pan heating over medium-high heat. And I want to get this nice and hot. Now, I'm using a cast iron pan. You could use a stainless steel. You could, I suppose, if you want to use a nonstick, but you're not going to get quite the same sear as you will in a cast iron or stainless steel. But we want this screaming, screaming hot. To this, I'm going to add some olive oil, just about a tablespoon. And we're just going to wait until it starts to smoke. While that's heating up, let's season our scallops. Just some salt and some pepper. Now I'm using white pepper today because it looks better on the scallops, but not a lot. Pepper can burn. All right, I'm seeing some wisps of smoke, so let's get these in. I'm gonna put them around the perimeter in a circle. That's what you want to hear. Don't crowd them. Now you'll notice I only put the scallops around the perimeter because the center of the pan is going to be much hotter, and this way I'll get a more even heat. All right, we're going to leave these alone for a good two minutes. Don't play with them. I know you want to touch them and check on them. Just let them go and let them sear. All right, it's been two minutes. My scallops are ready to flip. I'm going to flip these in the same order that I put them in the pan. Look at that beauty. All right, now I'm going to turn the heat down because this pan is screaming, screaming hot. We're going to add some butter. I have about a tablespoon of butter here. That's going to melt around. I'm going to tilt this up carefully and I'm going to baste these scallops with this toasty butter.
Now these won't need a lot of time. Maybe two minutes, but probably not. I'm going to check them with my thermometer. And I'm looking for 115 Fahrenheit, which is 46 Celsius. All right, these guys are done. I'm gonna take these out, let them rest, and then I'll put the second batch in and do them. All right, now I've let our scallops rest for five minutes. This is what we started with, big, plump, juicy. Here's what we finished with, toasted, just as juicy. Well, let's find out. Let's just cut this one open. Beautiful, that's just what you want. It's opaque all the way through, it's not translucent. Let me give it a little taste. Mmm. Wow. There's a little crisp on the outside from that hard sear, but it's tender and juicy all the way through. All it really needs is maybe a little squeeze of lemon. Let's try this now with the lemon. Mmm. Yeah. Wonderful. You need to wash it down. If you like this episode, sign up for our newsletter and get the recipes in your inbox. Then help us out. Help us grow the channel by hitting that subscribe button, smashing that like button, and hitting the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode. Now, I'm going to go enjoy this as a little snack because there's no one else home today. It's just me. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.